Okay, so we have a match here. It's gonna be Yurina, Saine, and Tokoyo versus Himika, Saine, and Chikage. Let's see how they choose to ban. It's gonna be fictional versus our, our tournament host, Purple. I guess I should turn off the thing that Discord does. Okay, so we have a we have a Tokoyo ban and a Sine ban. So no Sine mirror. Okay, so fictional does goes for the the standard. What's that? Shoot quick shot. Oh, I guess he's not going for quick shot. And then Magnum. Yeah, I guess he should be going for damage. As much damage as he, as he can. And purple is going to go pretty standard as well. But art of drawing. Oh, he will be taking the issue with the the R thing. Forgot the name of the special. Also, he goes with the final blow instead of the crush. Well, let's see. He's, th he's thinking about Lugifune. Fictional looks like he's thinking about a more target oriented uh -oh. deck, which I guess is fine. But I see no reason not to take Magnum, just so strong, so oppressive. Yeah, as I was saying, the fictional looks like he's building more towards Chikage. No, not taking the Magnum, which is uh, which I find weird. Meanwhile, Purple is taking more uh, of a standard approach, very aggressive, art of drawing and three three Urina. Sp oh, oh, I guess he's just changing his mind on the specials, but not the final blow. The final blow is good. I think he likes Final Blow more than Crush. Also, they were an enemy storm. Yeah, I like I like a Kifune here. Helps you deal with depression from with the depression from from Himika. 
forgot that name for a second there. But let's see what he chooses to go with. Interesting specials from fictional. He's going for the the one two the one two, the fading light potion. Maybe red bullet. Oh, he's taking the unguarded special. He's thinking about going silent approach. I don't think there's room for it in this matchup. You kind of don't want to. Don't want that. Quagmire is interesting, but not on this matchup. Yeah, he takes the magnum after all. I wish I wish he took backstab for backstab so he can get a, a has a way to move back. He's gonna be locked at R two with this, and just get just gonna get bullied by Yudi, by Yudina. Maybe Vermilion Field. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of a hard matchup. Since Sina can just fight on R4 and Yudina can fight on R2 and he, he, he can't just go in. Let's see how he handles it. Still not sure about his specials, but purple seems like he has chosen the, the cards. So he does go for the Hilt Slam. No silent wall. This is space for master, right? No, this is space for master. Is this is the? Oh. We have a game. I copy the. Yeah, purple is already helping me with this. So this is Purple's deck, and this is Fictional's deck. Let's see what he went for. Also, he did go with the, the Red Bullet. Runo's Soul Toxin, and the uh, Miss Bane one too. Mm, I wonder if he'll, he'll be able to use this one. Zero three. Yeah, I guess he's expecting... I guess he's just going to add pressure with... Himika from a distance and fight up close when the mm, yeah I, I don't see how he can get out of R2 here it's gonna be harsh it's gonna be hard he brought no distance retreating cards yeah so he's probably going to be stuck at R2 yeah so you're gonna join me in co-commentating cool yeah thanks uh I, I was saying he should he should have brought backstep but I guess he didn't <laughs> backstep would have made it things a lot easier Right, there's backstep from Himika, there's that vermilion thing that yeah, the special too yeah. from Himika. And there's also Chicago's concealment that lets you retreat too. True. He brought he brought none of those. <laughs> so let's see how he, he handles it. Fiction is the last is the last experienced player in this matchup as well. It's worth worth noting. Fictional goes first, and he mulligans into. Um, oh yeah, I think I should turn on attacks. turns. There we go. Which is probably a bit difficult to work with at the start. Yeah, he, he doesn't know. He probably you doesn't know what to, to save your attacks for yeah. either your second turn or your third turn. Yeah, probably just shoot and pass, right? It's the uh, only one that, that lets you do this. The ideal play here, just shoot and pass. Yeah, next turn you can move to 
Ho hope your opponent just moves forward and then you can unload on him. Oh, he's going to discard and move forward. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, he's just going to, yeah. These cards are perfect for discarding. Hilt Slam, Art of Drawing, Wavering Crystal. I guess you keep the crystal. What was that? Wavering Crystal. I'm not too familiar. Oh, it's the minus one on initialize and then step back. No, step, f yeah, step back. I don't think it's gonna need these a lot, but it's fine, I no, guess. It's an interesting card against Himika because it allows you to block both of Himika's 3-2 attacks with 5 aura. Ah, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, it's pretty Interesting choice. But on the other hand, since your opponent's Shikage, if you do the 5 aura block, you're just gonna eat a 1 2 attack. <laughs> yeah, true. So he did draw two of Tikage's attacks. Yeah, probably just unload on your opponent here and wait for him to come closer so you can unload again. Uh, the thing here would probably be something like Red Bullet, Magnum Quickshot. Yeah. He, he did bring Red Bullet, right? Yeah, he did. Which is probably going to go to life. Would be insane to see a Red Bullet to, do, to Aura like this. Maybe he's thinking about starting with Magnum. Since that way the quick shot might might give him some trouble. Well, he's probably dealing three damage regardless. Although, I guess the Waving Crystal is going to come into play, right? Steps forward. We're R R6 now. A lot of hesitation from fictional. Well, maybe he's trying to set up a good one, too after everything yeah I don't think he's hitting that well finally Pulls the trigger, so red bullet comes comes out, goes to life as expected. Big magnum probably. It's gonna get waving crystal. Oh, he might actually get the one two if he plays this right. Cause there's only Shit. The crystal only blocks one attack, right? Yeah, place the magnum. Yeah. 
one left shadow. It's probably gonna quick shot, yeah. Good. So it's there's a quick shot. Let's see if purple chooses to crystal. Very crystal that probably won't, but he might. No, oh, he probably will, right? Yeah, he's not ex expecting the one two. So he's gonna take to aura now, right? He blocks two to aura and then he takes yeah. two life damage. Oof. I wonder if I wonder if Fiction is gonna see it. Discard Fictional a card. Remembers that he's bringing the one two attack. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he set up that perfectly. Let's see if it does it. I do think it is a fair trade since purple doesn't have any cards in hand. Oh yeah, it's definitely so worth it. So special won't resurge after this. No, but it's definitely worth it. It's the it's the kind of pressure you want to... Oh, he didn't do. Wow. It's very conservative, I think. It's it's the kind of... It's the kind of pressure that you really need at the, like playing the spear. So we've crystal disenchants and he moves back to R7. Steps forward twice. Could play the cut down here. Let's see if he chooses to. Or just move forward. Yeah, probably just wants Being to forward, get in range. Probably be a better choice than playing the cut down. Let me remember what specials he brought besides Final Blow. Yeah, Storm and Rhythmic Arc. It's a lot of, but well, two finishers, I guess. So the, the a lot of Chicago cards in hand. Perfect range to throw out all your attacks. Yeah, just. Poison Needle can I throw in, then you can do the one two, and then you even get to reshuffle because you do, you giving them a poison. To, to not to reshuffle to resurge the special. I guess this works as well. Let's see if he actually does it, and then you just keep the behead to shuffle. To shuffle six cards. Yeah, it starts off with can I throw to to aura. Poison Lido. That let's see what poison he gives his opponent. Probably fading like toxin the 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 one that makes you not attack, right? The enchantment. I forgot what uh, the, let me I don't remember the poison names. I think all three poisons are pretty good here. Yeah, just get the non-attack to hand and put the flare one to the top of the deck, I think. Or maybe the ba basic actions one. Let me 
check which one he gave me. Yeah, he'd give the 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 one that you that you can make basic actions. Yeah, so the the other poison's going in hand. God, fiction is just so slow, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna blame him for it, but yeah, and the muscle relaxant to hand. Now you just use vigor, right? Don't discard, discard. You wanna shuffle? Oh, he's gonna discard it. Yeah. To walk forward, what? That is so weird, man. Interesting place. Yeah, <laughs> let's call them that. Stepping forward, why? What do you gain stepping forward, man? Alright, uh, let's see. Probably just cut down and slash to deal damage. I just play the slash and throw out both poisons and then. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would probably be a good point. Or play the slash then. Take your two basic actions, discarding the cut down. You move forward to range two and save for the basic poison next turn. I think either those two might play or fine. I think mux I think muscle relaxant is so so disrupted to to his game plan that maybe he just keeps it forever in hand. Just play with one less card. You can probably afford to do it. Yeah, just not being agent now. Yeah, please the muscle relaxing. And keeps the numbing agent for some reason. I, I think you should play the agent, but I guess he really wants to go to R2. Fictional taking his first reshuffle. It'd be hilarious if he top decked we had. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if we place. We uh, had three to five. Let's <laughs> just do it, man. Good card. Amazing. Oh, wait. It's three to life, and purple has to discard. Yeah. The card. Wow. Behead is so good here. And that's probably why you want to discard the cut down instead of. Keeping it in hand. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you probably don't expect to be had here. S expect the. Oh, please don't. 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 Unless he just doesn't play the beast. Please, please just play the behead. It's okay. Just do it.
Oh, okay, he does it. So it is three life damage. He's looking at Uranami Amazing. Storm, but he can't. <laughs> Doesn't have enough flair to Uranami Storm. That's pretty good be had here. I mean, he can react with cut down, I guess. Oh no, because there's no range. Oh my. Yeah. Ow. No, he can't put the poison, right? Uh, yes, he can. Can he? Just goes back to your top of deck next reshuffle. Oh, that is true. Does mean you lose one card, though. Yeah, but I think it might be worth it just to keep the cut down here. Oh, he pays one life to, to draw. Oh, no, to, he, he's going to reshuffle, okay. Yeah. Art of drawing probably coming out. Ooh. Art of drawing, but he can play it. Oh, due to the because muscle the muscle relaxing. relaxing. That is correct. He just played the numbing agent here, right? Yeah, it's just gonna play the numbing agent and pass. Now this is when you reshuffle and top deck behead again. <laughs> I I I would do it. I would just do it. I I, I live for those plays. Yeah, and that yeah, is that. three damage. You, the only attack you can actually hit here. Oh, he actually has a really good turn if he catches it. Just just go back to our four and. Start blasting. Just sh shoot in Kunitro. He's at the perfect range. He's probably gonna with an storm one of them, but he can't do both. Oh I actually if it does that, I wonder if it just loses. He gets Uranami Storm and then final blow. He goes to two life. Yeah, this this might this game might actually be close to <laughs> to ending. Oh, he can hit him with the one two as well if he chooses to Uranami and Uranami the the shoot and take to Aura. That's dangerous. Yeah, I think I start to shoot here. Magnum is range five, right? Yeah, five eight, kind of hard. Yeah, he's just gonna step back using aura, but shows the the the, the experience talking. I'm not gonna interfere because I don't want to get my I, I don't want to get be called attention. Purple does this; he has done it with Westlord. <laughs> We're here to commentate, not to coach. So how much life damage can he get here? One, two, three. Round three life damage. Yeah, I think I think if it starts with shoot and he would an army storms to get the the last aura, it's in a bit of a tough situation, right? Unless he is trying to go for the Magnum, discard the shoot and play the Magnum. Yeah, he certainly has options here. Yeah, he starts with the Kunai throw. I guess that's okay. Yeah, he gets cut down. Oh, he takes it to life. He's at three life now. Yeah, he's setting up the 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 final blow. 
but he might actually die before. Does he has Leto here? Uh, don't think so. He's he's close though. He's 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 very close though. He can discard the shoot to move back. Oh no, he can't because he got cut down. He doesn't have the aura anymore. All because well, he doesn't he have. Three, two, aura. Yeah, that's weird. Why would not take it to life? Uh, he might have. No. I guess he just play shoot then. What? Yeah, yeah. He's he he sees that he doesn't have the aura. He's thinking about just playing the shoot. Not a lot of options. Tries paralysis, man. He's definitely gonna get final blow next next turn. Discard the shoot. And then what? That's that's not how it works, dude. If he had remembered to do that when he was at R2 at the beginning of the round, then he would have the aura to do it. It's kind of sad that I can't coach him. Let's play the shoot, man. He can't final blow. He can't final blow and with an army storm unless he takes it to life, right? Uranami is 3 and Final Blow is 5. Uh, let's see, right. You can do that. Yeah, so he can't even. Oh, this is so awkward. Uh, so, what can he do here? He can play the shoot for 1 extra life damage and. That's literally it. Yeah, and then maybe discard Magnum to recover. I don't know what that plays around, but sure. Yeah, but it's so awkward, man. Yeah, it just passes. Right, it's purple's turn. Let's see what he top decks. It's a uh, one damage, one damage, and that's lethal. Yeah, he's just gonna final blow him. Uh, rhythmic arc. Oh, rhythmic arc. Yeah. So that's a one, a one, and a two. So three damage. Yeah, he has lethal. Slash and hits them. No, he doesn't, and right? He's, miss he's missing one. Chicago there has no reactions at this range, so yep. kind of screwed. He still he still has one life though, right? He doesn't have the, the he doesn't have lethal here, does he? He takes four to life, then slash and hilt slam plus two. Yeah, that's six. He has seven. Right, and then you just wait for him to die to reshuffle. Yeah. Although... Yeah, this... This, this was... This, this is still salvageable. If he was that Himika bring that 2-2 two, two attack, then he could win here. Yeah, this is still salvageable, he, even with all the misplays. This is... There we go.
<laughs> just bothering me. Well, in this instance, you could say that you pulled the Rhythmic Arc too early and should have waited one turn. Yeah, I think you should have just final blown here. That's five damage. That's more damage, and then you just discard out of drawing and wait for the next turn. Or maybe even art of drawing instead of everything else, because then you just then you get to keep Uranami Storm for the for the emergency. Absolutely, art of drawing. I play, he so played the slash. Time. Takes one to life. Now purple could play around the uh, non-existent Himika special by holding on to the reaction from Hilt Slam, but oh, guess not. Yeah. Just gonna recover to four aura. Yeah, he's just gonna hold Hilt Slam, I think. No reason to play it. It's not lethal. I wonder what he's expecting from specials because he has like he only has four flare worth of spe specials, <laughs> so that's a lot of flare that he's uh, he's not gonna use. Now is uh, fictional able to hit any of his attacks? Has no aura, so retreating will be incredibly hard for him. So the next turn fictional can only hit a shoot, the uh, one two attack, and that's about it. It depends on what he draws as well, right? What's in his deck. He already did the knight roll, he can have the... The head displayed, so it's gonna be quick shot, which he can't play, and poison needle, which I guess he can reach R4 if he's smart about it. Does the needle accomplish anything though? Not much. Yeah, I don't see how he can do this. Well, maybe just stuff your opponent with poisons. You can play the, the fading light. Your R just shadow. Not worth much though. Yeah, it's fictional turn now. He just discards the, the reaction and recovers again. Purple does. Very conservative as well. Oh, he didn't even draw the, the needle. It's kind of sad. Right, so you can take everything to Aura and completely safe here. So let's try to predict what the future turns would be. He definitely plays the uh, free flare, three flare, uh, what's it called? The, the the poison, fading light, fading light toxin, I think. Yeah, that one. Yeah. It doesn't do so much, though. Purple's next draw will be a poison and potentially one attack. 
Oh, oh, this one doesn't the does the special send to top of the deck? Top of the yeah. deck, yeah. You could deny a draw with it. The other All one right, is so hand. let's assume purple doesn't draw a usable attack next turn. So then purple just passes next yeah. turn. Wavering crystal. Then let's what? say he draws wavering crystal. Right. Then fictional gets another turn, which he can't do anything because he didn't bring any retreating cards yeah and then finally purple takes the next turn and wins with some sort of attack yeah it's probably what's gonna happen i guess he let him he didn't by not playing the the what's it called the hit slam the hit slam he doesn't he does give Fictional another opportunity to reshuffle, but I I I don't think it does anything anyways. I think I think he's figured out by card counting that fictional doesn't have any way to step back. Right, so this game will probably take uh, three more turns to end. I just wish it wasn't three, three more turns to end. No, no, I just wish it wasn't three excruciatingly long turns to win because this is not going anywhere fast. I just used I'm just used to playing my turns quite faster. Right, and time for me to go find a snack to eat. Be right back. Yeah, I'm almost joining you in that. It's probably not gonna happen anything. <laughs> So he does play the poison to the top of the deck. Let's see which one he chooses to put in there. If he's smart, he's gonna put the muscle relaxant, but let's see. Yeah, it's the muscle relaxant. to hand plays the three flare special So there's a toxin to the top of the deck. Double checking it. Yeah. What now, fictional? What do you do? Gonna spend that aura you just got instead of using shadow.
right, we are back. Let's see. Yeah, you didn't miss much. He just double poisoned. He played a ruinous soul toxin, and I think that's it. Yeah, played the 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 toxin and the special, the the, the special and the, the 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 poison to to hand. Put a muscle relaxant in there. <sighs> He's gonna discard shoot, the only card that he can actually play to recover. He's probably not remembering that he can retreat again. Funny how he tries to retreat at R4 but doesn't do it at R2. <laughs> yep. Oh, recovers again. This is called the you're going to lose it eventually, but you might as well <laughs> stall it for one more turn. Yeah. Strategy. Okay. It's not going to do much. Right. Looks like purple actually did draw the <laughs> he, he did. He did. He did draw the wavering crystal. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hilarious. Just, just play your toxins, man. <laughs> your opponent. I mean, you put you put yourself in this position by let by not playing the hilt slam that turn by letting your opponent take another reshuffle. That one two special was begged to be used like twice this game already. So actually, I think yeah, fictional could have won this if instead of bringing the oh one, yeah two special one hundred percent because uh two two special. No, honestly, he could have he could have like if he played if he had played the the the, the optimal turns he could actually have won this match with this deck without without any without any mechanic to to, to go back he he had the, oh, the perfect yeah. draws when the perfect opportunities like that behead that did three damage that was enough that was that was huge purple could be could very well be at like one life now And then he would be the one with the with the nourish to reshuffle. He could actually he there was there was a turn when he could have actually played the the one two poison and resurged it. It was the the second or third turn. He just had to discard a card to focus and play the special. Yeah, purple just discards a card and does nothing, I guess. Yeah, doesn't even want doesn't even want to focus. Why not play the why not play the, the, the toxin then if you're not gathering any flare? I know, weird. Very, very safe. If only he knew what the special was. <laughs> yeah, fiction needs to reshuffle. Shuffling with no cards in hand again. There's the Magnum and the Quick Shot, two useless cards. Probably just pass here, right? Maybe recover once more. Yeah. Wonder if you can stall it for like one more turn. So let's say purple uh, draws wavering crystal again and something bad like art of drawing that's gonna hit to aura. Hmm. 
Yeah, purple is worried about the poisons for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, if it gets out of drawing, it probably just plays it, right? Mm, but the game is gonna last three <sighs> more turns after that. Uh, I have a game with Shen tomorrow. I should be sleeping. It's 3 a.m. Just discard the Magnum. Recover. Realize you can't do anything else. And pass. Shot is R six eight. Yeah, just pass. Let's see what purple draws. Brandish and swing rush. Is that is that a lethal? No, it's not. Uh, let's see. Oh, two, wait, that's two. lethal. That's yeah, that's no, that's, that's not lethal. Oh, totally lethal. It's not lethal you because has a three two, and you uh swing rush. Oh yeah, it's a it's a three two now, but y you don't have the the idea to to. Enable swing rush to you hit play twice. A poison to lose a three aura, and then you idea. Oh yeah, he has the poison. Let's see if he sees that. It's a three two. Right. Game might end this turn. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he sees that. I wonder if he's afraid of a reaction or something. Even though there isn't. Oh, Chicago. Could have a concealment to escape this, but yeah, he doesn't realize it's a three two. Oh, uh, ni does neither of them realize it's a three two? Yeah. He didn't need it. I guess that's why he didn't force it, but yeah, he has to realize this. Yeah, he, he definitely sees it, because he was in the middle of playing it. He's, he, he's gonna play the, the, the toxin and do the, the, the thing. Yeah. There we go, swing rush. GG. I'm just going to call it. Yeah. Any any last comments on this <laughs> on this game? Uh, I have no comments. Yeah, me neither. I'm just going to stop recording. Thanks for commenting with me. Hope you can commentate on my match tomorrow. <laughs>